My name is Tokwak Mikaya. I was born in Gizagwei, Morua, and uh, then Jamaan Federation Native Authority, but I'm a native of Kaninko. I went to primary school, Equa Primary School, Kogon River and Wanferi. Went to Kagoro Teachers College. I went to Federal School of Art and Science movie for my HSC and Ambrose Ali University for my degree program. I'm aspiring for the Senate of the Southern Carolina because of a lot of so many things. You see, that is a very, very, very versatile area with human resources and material resources. But if you can look through, you find that we have not yet galvanized this resources for our human progress. So I'm trying, if I can find myself there, I'll be able to give our people a sense of direction by introducing legislative, by introducing laws at the federal level that will make our people relevant in the scheme of things. You see, like our area, we are predominantly agrarian people. We are farmers. You find out that we produce one of the best crops in the whole world, ginger. And this ginger is sold for in the world market. But we don't have a marketing board, so our people are being shortchanged. There is a need for a marketing board where government is going to mop out this material. When they mop out this material and sell it to the international market for the benefit of our people. No matter how rich you are today, you can't go to any other farm in Thailand and buy rice. Or you can't go to any other farm in the United States of America to buy wheat. You must go through the marketing board, but this one is lacking. And that's why our people are being shortchanged. Second, you can find out that soil minerals are abound in our area now. I know billions of... Uh, 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 Naira is being made weekly in my chiefdom, that's the Kanekon chiefdom, in the mining of this conzite and lipidolite. But the money is not enough. They're supposed to have a processing factory here that will process this area so that the fine one goes into the international market and not as it is happening at the moment. They just export it rolly. At the end of the day, when the mineral is finished, our people will be left with nothing but just mining pits. Too big, we cannot farm. They will be groping our animals and our, our, and our children. So I will introduce a law that all these minerals should be processed here in Nigeria. Well, we in Southern Carolina, we need restructuring than any other part of this country. And that is going to be one of my agenda I'm going to pursue in the Senate. The restructuring of this country. Because the way things are now, they are not, they are not properly uh, being, uh, it's not okay. So I will emphasize the restructuring of Nigeria. Even the unity it was not there before, it is there now. And I can tell you, next election, you will see the unity of purpose that is coming to Southern Carolina. Our elders have waking up and they are doing everything possible to see that credible people represent them, both at the state and the national level. Well, I don't believe in that word, kingmakers. Uh, I don't believe in that word, kingmakers. But do we have opinion leaders? Where is the opinion leader? Yeah, that's the opinion leaders I'm talking about. They are the ones that are coming up now trying to reshape our politics, the youth. Yeah, it's a welcome development. But first of all, I'm saying that they should go to school, obtain their maximum qualification before coming back to play politics. If they are educated, they can be able to play politics fine. If they are not educated, they will not. These people don't know why they were given that ministerial appointment. They are thinking that the governor was the one that made them to be what they are, forgetting that it's the vote of their people. And even if they are in there, they are only servicing the people that appoint them and not their people. So you can see that is the problem Southern Carolina. You can see all the ministerial have been coming from Southern Carolina, but you cannot produce one businessman, one, one, that they, they help or they empower him to be standing on his feet today. So that is the problem. The youth don't have their own problem. You empower some today, in order to go into either any apprenticeship or any other thing. Tomorrow you find them in another club or in another, in another uh, 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 brothel, enjoying themselves. So that's part of the problem. They need to use to change their attitude too.